we're gonna start the bar from this point okay and it's going all the way you can say it is just following the you can say the red line until this point okay so this is actually the cut length hey guys i'm suleiman khan and as you can see on the screen we have this tropical elevation of the beam you can say the long section okay and there we have two sections as well okay section 811 that is actually near the supports you can see that okay and one section at 22 which is actually you can say taken at the middle span okay so this drawing is sent by a friend of mine and he has asked me to determine the cut length for the extra bars you can see them okay that is already been mentioned over there that the the cut up bars you can say the the extra bars are two number six okay two in number that is actually the number and the number six means that the bars diameter is six by eight inches okay number six that's just uh, you can say uh, very easy and straightforward okay <clears throat> now let's just determine the cut length for the extra bars okay let me just undo the extra work okay now how can we if you're a little bit familiar with engineering drawing it can be easy for you to to you can say navigate to the exact place and locate the extra bars however if you're a beginner you can say a uh, little bit uh, not that familiar with engineering drawings then it can be a little bit confusing to locate the extra bars okay okay let's just focus on the section one one you can see that okay in the compression zone we have five bars and now just look at the section which is two two in the compression zone we have only three bars that means two bars are been vanished okay how how can they be vanished as you can see this section is actually near the supports okay up to this point we have some bars you can say and at the middle portion they does not appear in this section that means they are they they are not been continued okay you can see that okay there is no continuity okay so that means there is extra bar near the supports okay now extra bar can be you can say in different forms it can be bent up it can be cut up bar okay it is never bent up in the same drawing because we don't see diagonals i mean uh the bent up bar over here in the long section okay you can see that it is never you can say shown in the section that the bar is been continued in in form of bent you can say okay it is not bending from the compression to tension or maybe from tension to compression okay even angle is not been shown over there okay that means the bar is never bent up however it is extra okay and it is you can say cut up bar okay cut up means the bar is just you can say uh, started or maybe you can say from from the supports and then till all the way to this point you can say from this to this point okay you can see that red line okay and for the other side as you can see we have the same phenomena okay and this is actually this little indication that that is just labeled that the, the bar is ending over there okay so from that point till that uh, you can say effective point that can be actually l by three and this is actually indicating that the the length for the cut up bar can be l by 3 however it can be little bit more because we always just uh, you can say uh, penetrate or maybe we provide development length okay uh, uh, so we, we can reach to the uh, cover maybe concrete cover over there okay however development length can be ignored over here okay let's just talk about the cut up length for the extra bars okay so, so this was just to to remove the confusion now i'll be just determining the cut length for the extra bar so the length for the extra bar can be actually from the supports end you can say okay from this point okay it can be from this point all the way to the you can say uh, labeled you can say it has been shown over there to this point okay so it has been mentioned as you can see on the other side uh, you can say side uh, on the left hand side okay this is the indication okay and then the bar is actually up to this hook okay so we have to determine this length okay this is going to be the the, the length or you can say the cut length for the extra bar now as you can see we have l by 3 okay that's already been known what we have to do is actually to add 
this portion, okay, as you can see on the screen, this portion, and then little bit hook over here, okay. Okay, let me just repeat it again so you can understand it better, okay. Let me just undo, okay. As you can see, the bar is been started from this point, okay. You're gonna start the bar from this point, okay, and it's going all the way. You can say it is just following the, you can say the red line until this point, okay. So this is actually the cut length. This is going to be the cut length, you can say, okay. Now, this hook can be 90, okay, can be different. It is not shown in the same drawing, so I cannot say how they are doing it on the side, okay. However, normally it's 90, okay, for the, you can say for the hook. Now, up to this point, as you can see, this is actually the, the size of the, the support, you can say, okay. However, we can just subtract the concrete cover for the for this side, okay. Now, as you can see from this point till this point, this is actually L by 3, okay. So the cut length, let me just represent that with CL. The cut length, that is actually L by 3 plus the, the supports. You can say the, the, the weight or maybe the breadth of the support. Let me just annotate that with B and then 9D, okay. So that's going to be so simple. Now, let's just calculate it, okay. So the cut length, that can be actually L by 3. Now, L is never known. As you can see, this is actually the, you can say, the effective span, okay. As you can see, this is from the, the mid support and uh, it is actually the same way like this one, okay, from the mid to mid. It means it is effective span, okay. It is never clear span. It is not shown in the same drawing, so let me just, con uh, you can say, assume, okay, it, okay. Let's say the L, which is actually this L, as you can see, that is 21 feet, okay. Does not matter, it can be anything, should be shown in the drawing, okay. It, you can say it is just forgotten, okay. So 21, that is just 21 by 3. And L by 3 means actually just to, let's say this is the beam, okay. This is just, you can say, the effective span, okay? Now, or you can say beam, does not matter. It is just for the for the knowledge, you can say, okay? L by 3 means if we just split or we equally divide the same, uh, you can say, span into three equal parts, you can say. The one part is just known by L by 3, okay? If this total is 21, that means the one portion that is just 7 feet, okay? This one is same one, this one is seven feet, okay? So L by three means 21 by three plus the width. That is also not known. As you can see, it is never known in the drawing. So let me just assume that by myself, okay? Let's say that is 12 inches, okay? No problem. Okay, this, this point, okay? This is 12 inches. Okay, so plus 12 plus 90, okay? 90 means the hook at the end okay if it it is the same thing as i'm drawing you can say okay and over here we have the hook as you can see this hook okay so this is 90 90 means nine times the bar's diameter as you can see the bar diameter that is number six okay so nine times six by eight inches this is the same thing okay now what it means actually uh this is going to be six point five uh, you can say uh, 75 okay if i'm not wrong 75 inches okay just do it by your calculator if i'm wrong okay okay so that means 6.75 inches over here 6.75 inches okay okay now cl that means the the cut length for the extra bar is going to be 7 feet okay plus 12 inches okay this is in inches and plus 6.75 inches okay now 7 plus 12 inches 7 feet and 12 inches that means 8 feet okay so let me just uh start a you can say let me make some room for myself okay so simple now as you can see we have the cut length that is going to be 7 feet plus 12 inches that is 8 feet and plus 6.75 inches that means the uh, you can say the, the bar or the cut length for the extra bar is actually 8 feet and 6.75 inches. Okay, so this was for the compression zone. Now let's talk about the extra bar which is in the tension zone, okay. 
this is going to be a little bit easy because it does not have hooks or maybe the weight of the support as you can see it is just been shown over there okay these are the indicators okay as you can see it is in the middle span you can say okay and it is actually 3 by 4 times L okay it means the extra bar length or you can say the cut length for the extra bar that is actually 3 by 4 okay times the effective length of the you can say effective span okay or maybe effective length of the beam okay so simple okay let's just plug and chug in over here you can say 3 by 4 times the effective length okay or you can say the effective span that was just assumed okay you can see uh while we were determining the cut length for the extra bars in the compression zone okay for the tension zone that going to be the same thing is 21 feet okay so 3 by 4 times 21 feet okay just multiply these things as you can see we can have 15.75 okay feet or you can say just 15 feet and 9 inches okay because 0 0.75 or uh, that can be multiplied with 12 so we can have 9 inches okay so for the tension zone we have the cut length for the extra bar that is 15 feet and 9 inches okay it should be you can say at the middle span okay so simple thank you guys for watching